Hello to you and yours, and welcome inside the SunTrust Pavilion high atop Schellenberger Field. I'm Joe Hutzler, riding solo with you today as we are prepared to celebrate eight young men's hard work and sacrifice over the last four years with the Lynchburg Men's Lacrosse Program. Now, today might look a little bit different than we expected when the season started, but nevertheless, we are happy that we are able to give these young men the moment that they deserve. So without further ado, let's head over to our Master of Ceremonies for today, Sports Information Director Mark Robertson. Hello and welcome to the first ever virtual Senior Day for University of Lynchburg's men's lacrosse program. Today, Lynchburg Athletics is proud to recognize the eight young men who comprise the class of 2020 and who have dedicated long hours of hard work to the betterment of the university and its men's lacrosse program. This group of men led Lynchburg to a record of 43 wins and 26 losses over the course of four seasons. They won an Old Dominion Athletic Conference title in 2018 and reached three NCAA Division III tournaments, totaling three national tournament victories. At this season's early conclusion, the Hornets were ranked number 17 in the country, had their sights set on another ODAC championship and NCAA tournament berth. Let's meet the Lynchburg Men's Lacrosse Class of 2020. Number 8, Colin Dean. A midfielder from Haver de Grace, Maryland, Colin is the son of Amy and Tim Dean and a brother to Haley. Colin was first team all ODAC and all region and second team all state as a junior, totaling 32 goals and 27 assists that season. He topped the 100 point mark for his career this year with a four year total of 56 goals and 46 assists. A member of the Student Managed Investment Fund and Student Judicial Board, Colin will graduate with a degree in business administration and a political science minor. Ladies and gentlemen, Colin Dean. Number 10, Trammell Robinson. An attackman from Memphis, Tennessee, Trammell is the son of Shade and Wiley Robinson and a brother to Fort. Trammell racked up 72 goals and 24 assists over the past four years, and his 14 goals this season ranked second on the squad. He was named ODAC Player of the Week on February 17th. An executive with the Student Managed Investment Fund, Trammell will graduate with a degree in business administration with a management minor. Ladies and gentlemen, Trammell Robinson. Number 11, Jake Vignali. A long stick midfielder from New Providence, New Jersey, Jake is the son of Mary Jean and Drew Vignali. He totaled 34 ground balls, 11 caused turnovers, one goal, and two assists over the course of his career. Jake is a Dean's List scholar and a member of multiple honor societies. He will graduate with a degree in criminology. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Vignali. <laughs> Number 25, Brooks Poley. A midfielder from Downingtown, Pennsylvania, Brooks is the son of Susan and Richard Poley. He tallied 20 goals and 6 assists during his career, while also picking up 36 ground balls. Brooks will graduate with a degree in accounting. Ladies and gentlemen, Brooks Poley. Number 28, Kevin Rogers. A midfielder from Leesburg, Virginia, Kevin is the son of Ainsley and John Rogers. He was a consensus All-American as a junior, earning first team honors from the IMLCA and second team accolades from the US ILA. And Kevin was a first team media All-American and the National Player of the Year in Division III in the abbreviated 2020 season. He led the team in goals and assists this year. Kevin is a two-time All-ODAC performer and also garnered All-Region and All-State honors. His career tally sits at 112 goals and 71 assists. Kevin is a member of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. 
He will graduate with a degree in communications. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Rogers. Number 40, Pierce Bauer. A defender from Charlottesville, Virginia, Pierce is the son of Sarah and Paul Bauer and a brother to John and Lily. Pierce picked up 16 ground balls and caused four turnovers for the Hornets in his career. He will graduate with a degree in international relations along with an environmental studies minor. Ladies and gentlemen, Pierce Bauer. Number 43, Tyler Gallagher. A defender from Palmyra, Pennsylvania, Tyler is the son of Wendy and Tim Gallagher and a brother to Kylie. He was an honorable mention All-American as a junior and earned second team All-America honors from inside lacrosse for the abbreviated 2020 campaign. Tyler also earned all ODAC, all region, and all state honors during his career, piling up 88 ground balls and 60 caused turnovers, as well as two goals and an assist. One of the department's most accomplished scholars, Tyler was the 2019 Male Academic Athlete of the Year at Lynchburg and COSIDA Academic All District last year. He will graduate with a degree in Biomedical Science, where he was named the Outstanding Senior and a minor in Mathematics. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Gallagher. Team Manager Jake Kilmer. Jake hails from Crozet, Virginia, and is the son of Anna and Mike Kilmer and the nephew of Melissa and Mike Reed. He's the most active student in the athletic department who doesn't play a sport, dedicating countless hours to lacrosse practice and games, both home and away, while also serving as the manager for the women's soccer program in the fall. Jake will graduate with a degree in nursing and a sports medicine minor. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Kilmer. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the Lynchburg Men's Lacrosse Virtual Senior Day. Coach Kadelka would like to wrap up today's program with some comments. I guess we're ready to roll here. Um, first off, I just want to say thanks to, uh, to Joe Hutzler and LHSN for putting, uh, putting this production on. I mean, this was, uh, this was great. And obviously we'd all want to be on Schellenberger Field right now, but, but our ability to be here today with you all means a lot, I know, to, to, the, to the players and to the parents. Um, secondly, I'd like to thank the parents um, for, you know, four, four years ago, I guess, we were recruiting your sons to come to school here and, uh, and allowing them to make that decision to choose Lynchburg. And um, as you know, the coaching staff with, with all of our guys, Coach McGuire, Coach Santora, Coach Lombardo, uh, Coach McDonald, Coach Bradney, Coach Smith in the weight room, um, Dr. Hedrick, Tom Bowman. There are so many people to thank, but but all those people I know are super appreciative that you allowed your son and, and let your son come to Lynchburg. Um, they have been tremendous ambassadors for your family on our campus, and, um, and we're just super thankful for that. And so for all the parents, moms and dads and brothers and sisters and everybody, um, just just thank you. And, and, and I know those guys – speak all the time about the support that, that you all have given them, uh, whether it's driving them back in the day to, to sporting events, to travel games. And so um, we, we have heard as coaches their appreciation for you, and I just hope they get a chance to, to say that to you at some point. Um, I think that's important. But we are very thankful as a coaching staff as well that, uh, that, you're, that, that all these guys were here. Um, you know, and, and just to – you know, I, I could probably sit here and talk forever, and I won't. Um, but I wrote down just a couple of things, and I think if you listen to that, to, to the all eight people, all student athletes who were mentioned, um, their their ability or what they're involved in in our campus is fantastic. Um, I think five out of the eight have either a major and a minor. Um, multiple guys are involved in, you know. Um, so many different, so many different groups on campus: camp investment funds, student judicial board, student advisory committee. Um, 
so many have been also recognized by their own majors and their honor societies. Um, they, they have left an indelible footprint on this campus and that is, that is phenomenal. And, and I can't tell you how much, uh, even though there's eight of them, they, they have created a, a great atmosphere and a great vision moving forward. Um, they all came in here with a vision to win a national championship. And unfortunately this year, we didn't get a chance to fight for that. Um, but all the, all the things that we've had to go, to go through over the, the past month as a team and as a program and, and probably at home and your, in everyone's world, they, they have stood tall in the biggest face that any senior class has ever faced in the history of our school. Um, and we, we somehow, some way, they, are, they have absolutely made it so that our program, when we come back, whenever, whenever the good Lord allows us to come back to campus and do what we love to do, we will be better. And, and, that, and this senior class will, will have absolutely um, driven that. And so uh, we know we will be better than we ever been before. And those guys have a lot to be thankful for. So um, I, I just can't think, and that's why Amy and I, um, they hear these names all the time, just like Mrs. Cole, your granddaughter is pointing out all the names. Um, our kids live vicariously through this program and through through you all as people. And um, to, to the, all the young men that, that have come in our house and eaten dinner at our home and shot baskets in our backyard and, and do all those things and, and, and graced our family with your presence, we're just super thankful. And for us to be able to get this opportunity today with Joe Hutzler and that crew to do what they did, um, we want, We were not going to let that opportunity slip today. Um, this was supposed to be senior day. And I think I told you guys when we met the last day on campus that I was going to. we were going to make sure this was going to happen. I'm glad we did. Uh, we love all you guys. Um, we're so thankful for all you've done here. And um, and th thank you very much. It's been, it's, been a, it's been great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.